Welcome, I'm Scientist Joe, and this is October's Experiment of the Month, the Jack O'Kano. Uh, we're here in my kitchen, my pretty small kitchen. Uh, not a lot of room in here. Uh, barely have room for anything in here. No room at all for bananas. Um, uh, or anything else. But, we do have enough room to do a really cool science experiment. This month, we're working with pumpkins, acids, and bases. Here's what you'll need to do the experiment. Ain't she cute? Scientists have to clean up their own messes. So, I have put down two layers of paper towels around here. The pumpkin itself is on a baking sheet. You can also use a plastic container. Um, if you wanted to make cleanup really easy, you could do this experiment in the bathtub. Uh, but I'm doing it right here. I'm prepared. Uh, hopefully, it won't get any messier than where I've put these paper towels. First, I cut off that pumpkin and I scooped out all of the slimy stuff and the seeds from in there. Uh, if you need to, acid will help you with the step if you need to cut that off for you. Now, I'm going to take some water and I'm going to fill my pumpkin up. Uh, about halfway. I have a pretty small pumpkin, so I'm going to do it halfway. Here's a little bigger, you can go up to three quarters. I'm going to add some food coloring to my pumpkin. Uh, I want the eruption to be sort of four and sort of pumpkin colored at the end. So I'm going to add five drops of yellow food coloring. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to add five drops of red food coloring because red and yellow is orange. Four, five. Now I'm adding just a little bit of uh, dish soap here, just a few drops of time. Four, five. That is plenty for me. And I'm going to add one more half of theirs. I'm going to add three pink strings of baking soda to the same plastic container. I'm doing this this way so I can dump it in all at once and we have a big eruption. We're ready to go. This eruption will happen in five, four, three, two. You know what? I forgot to talk about vinegar. We put vinegar in here. Vinegar, a scientist would call it acetic acid, is an acid. Not all acids are dangerous. Some people are scared. They think, oh, it's an acid. It's going to burn me or dissolve my clothes. Not all acids are. In fact, you eat acids. Uh, lemons, limes, oranges all have acids in them, uh, and so does vinegar. We're ready for our eruption. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to talk about baking soda. Baking soda, this stuff right here, is called a base. Now a base is uh, the opposite of an acid, and so when a base and an acid get together, they react. This base, sodium bicarbonate, is one that's in bread and cake and other baked goods. It is the thing that makes bread just, uh, you know, soft as a pillow. It makes things fluffy. Now, I think we're ready for our eruption. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> That's it, folks. That is the Jack O'Kano. If you want to learn how to do it, you can go online. Uh, you can follow this link. This link is easy to find. Link ah, right here. Uh, this link will take you to our website at sciencefun.org. You can also find out about Science Fun for Everyone's in-school field trips and our camps and birthday parties at the lab. If you do this experiment, we would love to see it. We'd love to see pictures and videos, anything at all. You can send them to us through our Facebook page or through email. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Have fun.